welcome back guys so this is question 20 and here we are asked to find the simplified version of these expressions by using the boolean algebra the part c here we have this one is bc plus bcd whole prime plus b so uh, let me use it here so we have here bc plus bcd whole prime plus b okay so now uh, before proceeding to solve this question we have here three terms and upon these three, three terms we have this whole complement so according to the de morgan's theorem what do we have if we have x y z whole complement so it is equal to the x complement plus y complement plus z complement this is what this is the de morgan's law Okay, so according to the De Morgan's law, we have this expression. So now, uh, by using De Morgan's law, let me simplify it. So simplifying it, what will we get? We will get here B C plus these terms will be what? Here we will have B prime plus C prime plus D prime, and here we have this B. So we can very clearly see that this is because of this term here and these are the terms which are constant okay so let me move down further so now uh, we have here bc plus b prime plus c prime plus d prime plus b okay so let me rearrange them and rearranging them what will i get i will get here bc plus b prime plus b and similarly c prime plus d prime here we can see that these are the two terms and according to the boolean's law what do we have if we have literal x and with it we have added x prime so it will be always equal to one okay so making it one what i will get here i will get here bc plus one plus c prime plus d prime okay so with all of these from this one is added now so therefore at the end we will have the expression which will be this one because here according to this theorem which is written anything which is added with this one will ultimately give me one here okay so it will give me this one so this is the solution of part c here so let me again see the part d so the part d here we have b plus b plus b prime b plus b prime and with it what is multiplied bc plus bcd prime okay so here this expression we have and according to the boolean's law which we have previously seen that here it is written that x plus x prime is equal to 1 so let me again write it here so x plus x prime is equal to 1 so therefore this expression will be like 1 okay so this 1 will be multiplied with this bc plus bcd prime so ultimately it will give me what it will give me bc plus bcd prime okay so from here we can also see that this bc and this bc is common in between them and let me take it common from them i will get bc so here i will have one plus d prime okay so again according to the expression which is here let me see the expression here so according to the expression which is here this one we have one plus x equal to one so writing it again here we have 1 plus x prime is also equal to 1 okay so using it here what will we get we will get bc multiplied by 1 and ultimately it will give me this bc so the answer here is this bc this is the answer of part d here okay so the answer of part d is this one so now uh, let us proceed toward the last part of our question so the last part we have is this one and that is bc plus b prime plus c prime d plus bc 
okay so let me write it here so this is part e and in part e we have what we have bc and plus at the end we also have a bc so b plus c prime multiplied by d okay so we have here this these term so according to the law we have these two terms which are same and we can also see that whenever we have x plus x the output of it will also be x this is also the boolean law okay so rearranging them and we will see that representing these two terms with the same term here what will we get here we will have bc plus b plus c and here d okay so this is the term which we have here and uh, we can also multiply it with all these terms this d and uh, what will i get here i will get here b c plus b d plus c prime d this d is multiplied with all the terms which are inside this bracket and uh, here we can very easily see that this cannot be further simplified because this is the finer version okay so the simplified version of our equation here is this one okay or we can also take this b common from here or the same expression here this can also be used here but these two are basically the simplified versions which cannot be any more simplified okay so most probably here we can see that this is a simplified one while this expression is having the two multipliers and also the simplified one okay so both of these can be used but the only thing here we saw that the use of these bc in a single term okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of problem 20 in our book so in here we have used a boolean algebra to solve all the expressions and all the sub parts of our question to simplify the boolean expressions which are given to us okay so i hope you have understood it and if you got any difficulty in understanding these questions please ask me in the comment box i think it's enough so we'll see you with some more questions in our upcoming video